Newton's second law says that forces cause objects to accelerate. An acceleration is a change from uniform motion, either because the object changes the direction that it's moving or it speeds up or slows down. But the causes of the acceleration are forces. However, it's not just the force alone that determines how much acceleration will occur. The acceleration depends on the force exerted on the object divided by the mass of the object. The mass is a characteristic of the object that determines how it accelerates uh, under the influence of a particular force. The glider here is uh, provided with a, with a propeller to exert a force on the glider, but it has two speeds. It can go either fast or slow, and in each of those two cases, the consequence is a force of different strength. Now the idea is, since the mass of the object is not changing, we'll be able to see what the effect is of changing the force on the object alone when the mass is held constant. The acceleration is the force divided by the mass. The greater the force for constant mass, the greater the acceleration. The less the for lesser the force for the same mass, the less the acceleration. So let's start with the propeller on the slow speed. That'll be the smaller of the two forces. Let me remove the friction by letting the glider ride on a cushion of air. And let's start it from right here and try to observe how much, how far the glider moves in a certain amount of time. And then we'll repeat it again with a greater force to see if it moves a greater distance in that same amount of time, indicating a greater acceleration. So, with the smaller force, we'll turn it on and observe that it speeds up, that it accelerates. Now, let's do it again. Go back to exactly the same starting point. This time, however, the force will be greater and we'll try to observe whether in fact it moves a greater distance in that same amount of time indicating that it's speeding up at a greater rate. <laughs>